Today is finally the day where I build my computer. I got my case, went AMD processor, H110 water cooler, terabyte hard drive, 256 gig, solid state drive, 16 gigs of RAM, thermal paste, BioStar motherboard, 850 watt power supply, G4 1060, video graphics card. Devil state off! Keyboard and mouse combo, 24 inch wide screen monitor waiting on a couple of students we are going to try and put this thing together got a stopwatch see how long it's going to take us we're about to get started my buddies are here we got brad jackson timer is starting now start opening this stuff oh. graphics card is first graphics card dude feel that Motherboard, first couple of pieces we see for the motherboard is this thing, don't know what it is, and these two things. I think these are the SATA cables. All right, I am gonna put on gloves before I touch the motherboard. Manual. Remember folks, this is first time for all of us. The water cooler, get a good view of it. Nice radiator, cooler, thermal paste for it. Boom. All right, so we got we got pretty much everything open, right? I'm gonna put on some gloves. Start tackling this stuff. Yes, yes, directions. Always follow those. <laughs> Brad's so strong, he's breaking my chairs over here. No glove, no love. So the reason I wanna put on gloves is just to make sure that I don't put any germs, dirt, or anything like that on the very important parts that is the motherboard, CPU. Jackson is too strong, everybody. So the last box we need to open is the processor. The motherboard needs to go in first because everything is going to connect to it. We have all the stuff to put onto the motherboard, so therefore I feel like that should be first and then the power supply. And because the power supply is modular, we don't have to deal with tons of like cords and everything. There it is, there's the processor. Slides right off. Look at this. These cords are power button USB cords yeah. uh, that will go into the motherboard. These are screws for the motherboard. Cable management cords and screws there. That's for my fans here. I have a water cooler. It needs to go here because the fans are 280 millimeters. It won't fit here because this is for 240. This front panel is for 280. First thing we should do is take those two fans out because we're gonna have to replace them anyway. We're gonna have to take the front panel off. Let's do this too. So this one came off pretty easy. This panel should just now, there we go. Boom. Moment of truth. We think we built a computer. Do it, Brad. Holy. <laughs> we just built a freaking computer. Look at that. Look at that. Graphics card, fans running, water coolers running. Holy Hey, you hear that? Nope, it's so quiet. 
Oh my goodness, we built a computer. Next, we take over the world. Holy sh We have got the monitor hooked up, stand hooked up, uh, the mouse and keyboard hooked up, and my external CD-ROM DVD drive so that we can put the operating system on it. And we have the full case on. Do the honors, hit the power button. Boom, look at that. You can't hear anything. This is the Prius of computers. Uh, I really gotta hit a power button. Woo! Reboot and select proper boot device. Computer is on, we're gonna get this situated. Yeah! All right. Turn this light off and so you can see. This is the finished product. Hooked up to the monitor. Here it is, my computer. Got it built. That was me building my very first computer. In the info section, you can find all the specific links to all the specs that I used. Thank you for watching. It's WCUCP. And I'm out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Just come see me.